Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Now today I have a very important topic that I would love to discuss with you further in the comment section below. It's all about creating a positive body image. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you would know that I have always struggled with my weight my whole entire life. I was brought up being told that I need to drink the light milk because it's gonna make me thinner in comparison to drinking the full cream milk. Cow's milk I'm talking about, cow pus. This is prior to my vegan days. I was also bullied when I was in year five. Um, the matter actually got quite out of control. I ended up in the principal's office and had a massive discussion with the other girl's parents and mine, blah, 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 long story short. And, you know, I used to be 75 kilos. I've since lost 10 kilos, but there are some times when I may be out of alignment or astrologically some events may mirror to me things that need to change. Someone pointed out to me the other day in a picture that I actually looked thinner. This was taken about two months ago. And they're right, I have put on a little bit of weight. I haven't been incorporating exercise as regularly into my lifestyle as I would like. And it really upset me. And I was initially pissed off at the person that said that. And I was like, how dare you speak to me like that? And then I know that it didn't come from a place of, um, of hurt, but my reaction was a reflection of me. And it triggered for me how I used to feel. And it brought up to me um, feeling like a failure, which is crazy to think because Holy hell, look how far I have come. But it was very interesting that that came up to me. And then it kind of snowballed a lot of conversation in my head that's been going on. So I wanted to bring it to your attention because maybe it's gonna help you on your journey to become the greatest version. Or maybe you know of someone that you could share this video with to help them. Because creating a positive body image is something that I continue to work on every day. I am by no means perfect. And it also got me thinking about when I have a daughter one day, how do I want to raise her? I don't want to be saying, oh, don't eat this bread or don't do this or don't eat that. I don't want that to be the dialogue that I have with my daughter one day. I want it, to, I kind of want to demonstrate to her by just being how to talk to myself, how to nourish my body, mind and soul essentially. Anyway, I'm kind of rambling on a little bit. And then it, this conversation in my head, this is all happening just in my head, then stemmed from this Instagram picture that I posted for maybe a month or so ago. Um, they were, like, they were taken on the same day. One is standing up and one is sitting down and showing you the difference by taking a different picture looks like. That's like me filming right now. I'm filming in front of a window, which creates beautiful light. Whereas if I was to film the opposite direction, let me just show you. I'll just go take my mic. Let me just show you the difference. Oh, hold on, I'm attached. Hold on. Everything's plugged in. Look at the difference over here. That's why I don't film like this. It's not good lighting. But then when I go here, I didn't fart by the way, that's my chairs. <laughs> you know, check out the lighting this way. So I think my point what I'm trying to get at is that I need to be very aware about what I am saying to other people and trying to model the behavior that I would like how I would like to be treated. You know, treat others the way you would like to be treated. I kind of feel a little bit lost talking about this because I still feel a little bit scattered. In There's a scene in Sex in the City and they talk about how all of the girls are in the table or going around saying, I hate this part of my body and I hate that. And then Samantha goes, well, I love my body. And I want to be able to confidently say that. And I know it's like, exercise or fitness, you know, you have to work at it. And I have been working at it for three years now, but obviously 
being, how old am I now? 29. I turned 30 soon, my goodness. 30 in April. So basically, it was 27 years of conditioning that I'm trying to unlearn. So obviously, I'm not going to be perfect straight away. So there's a couple of things that I have written down that I would love to share with you in regards to how to comment to someone because I don't want it to be about commenting on somebody's picture and saying, oh my gosh, you look so amazing, as to say, you weren't amazing before. So what I'm going to be doing, it's kind of like my own personal quest. So if you want to join in, that would be amazing. It's just basically when somebody presents a picture on Instagram, for example, or me being on YouTube, I know a lot of you comment and say, oh, Mel, you look so beautiful, blah, blah, blah. That's really nice, but I have makeup on. I have good lighting. I, if you saw me in the street, I don't look like this. Watch my Instagram stories and you see me what I look like with and without makeup. Hello, my loves. Go over to my YouTube channel. I've just released a brand new video, which is a part of my chakra meditation series and it focuses on the heart which is all about love for yourself and love for those around you. So I hope you enjoy and let me know what you think. So a little bit of a side note, you know that video I made about how to manifest a vegan partner? Well, this one actually makes, look, Anzac biscuits and pancakes for breakfast. What? So here are some of the things that I wanted to talk to you about. So I don't want people to be commenting on other people's bodies because I think that's a very slippery slope to creating a negative body image and body dysmorphia and eating disorders and a whole list. <laughs> so when somebody has lost weight, what I will now will be saying is that, oh, I'm getting choked by this, is that um, you look so healthy instead of saying, oh my gosh, you look so thin, saying you look so healthy or um, I can see how happy you are now. You are absolutely glowing. You can tell when there's such a change in someone. So I'm going to be very mindful about my language. Um, when I comment on other people's pictures or in general, um, or in the real world, people like us do exist. We're not all on social media. Um, and what I was a little bit stuck on this one. So I wonder if you could help me. It was in regards to people that wear makeup. Obviously, I believe that I look amazing with and without makeup, but personally, I feel more confident, or maybe that's the key word, with makeup on. So if I was to comment on myself, I'd be like, oh, Mel, you look, um, no, not you look. I can see how confident you are today with your new look, I don't know. I don't really don't know, but this is kind of like a little bit um, all over the shop, but I would love to hear from you and let me know what you think would be appropriate ways to comment about people's body image, because I don't want people to get the wrong idea. And I, I don't know. Anyways, my love, I am a massive believer that love heals all blockages. You know that, hence the reason I changed my YouTube name to Melanie Kate Love. But uh, yeah, this is a struggle for me and this is something that's not going to happen overnight. But I just wanted to bring up the conversation or start the conversation and just talk about how do you comment on other people's bodies? Like if somebody gets a new outfit, um, I'm not going to say, oh my gosh, you look so amazing and just say, you are rocking that outfit. Or you know when you see um, little kids and then you haven't seen them for a couple of months and then all of a sudden they've just grown? You don't just say, because most people would say, I know I used to get this quite a lot, oh my god, you were so big! How do you think that works with somebody's mental health if they are overweight as well or grow up to be overweight and that triggers something? Maybe you could say, oh my goodness, I can see that you are shooting up. No, you wouldn't say that. I don't know. My loves, tell me what you think because I'm truly interested in this. And this is a community, you know, I make videos, you comment, we interact together in the comments. I would love to hear more from you. I just wanted to remind you to continue to make better choices and be aware about the way that you are complimenting anybody's body 
Um, we're not going to be just, yeah. I think I've made my point pretty clear. <laughs> Anyways, my love, I want to remind you to continue to make better choices than the day before because that's all we can do on our journey to become our greatest version. If you're new to the MK Love Fam, make sure you subscribe so you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday and Sunday at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. I love you so much. I can't wait to hear from you in the comment section below. I can't wait to write back. It's going to be amazing. And to hear your thoughts. Anyways, my love, you guys are just like me. You think the same like me. You know, you clicked on this video because you're interested in this topic. And I just wanted to say, have an amazing day. I will see you next episode. I love you so much. Bye.